Are you living in pain? Is it joint pain or muscle pain? If so, stay tuned. Welcome to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow from the Joint Rehab and Sports Medical Center in West Los Angeles. This is the program that can give you effective solutions for the pain that you've been living with. Dr. Darrow is a medical doctor board certified through his studies at UCLA, and Dr. Darrow uses stem cell and platelet-rich plasma therapy to heal your body. He teaches about the use of stem cells, PRP, and prolotherapy. Today's program could open up a new life without pain for you. To speak with Dr. Darrow, call 866-870-KRLA. That's 866-870-5752. Ask for a copy of Dr. Darrow's book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy. Now, here's Dr. Darrow with his co-host, Nita Valens. Hi, Dr. Darrow. Hello, Nita Valens. You look gorgeous today. Oh, you're so sweet. Well, i just tell the truth. Ah. So what are we going to teach our listeners today about regenerative medicine? Well, this has been something I've been working on for over 25 years, doing regenerative medicine. They didn't used to call it that way back in the day. It used to be called uh, prolotherapy, and that was meaning to proliferate new tissue growth. So what we're doing is regenerating tissue. I don't know who came up with that name, but it's a great name. Uh, We use today something much more advanced, stem cells or platelet therapy, PRP, platelet-rich plasma. And wherever um, my patients have musculoskeletal pain, injuries, arthritis, anywhere from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet are areas that I generally can help by simple injections with cells from their body, replacing them into areas where we need to stimulate new growth. There are still guys out there, there are doctors who do mainly the old prolotherapy, which is a concentrated sugar solution, dextrose, which can irritate the tissue, create inflammation, and then stimulate a response in the body to sequester or draw fibroblasts Those are cells that grow collagen to the area where the injections are done. And this is done naturally in the body. Anytime we injure ourselves, when we get swollen or inflamed, uh, God created a nice system for healing. So when people sprain their ankles, they don't run to get a surgery, right? They just let it heal. And it can be very painful, but they let it heal. And what we're doing is a similar reproduction of the natural system of creating inflammation. That's the old style, prolotherapy. Now, with using stem cells or PRP, platelet-rich plasma, we still create the inflammation. So people get a little bit stiff afterwards. But in addition to that, these cells that we're putting in actually stimulate new tissue to grow and create areas of new tissue. And that can be anywhere around the body in the joints, the ligaments, the tendons, the cartilage. Yes, even though I fight with my surgeon buddies, I love them because they do the hardest work in medicine. But I don't like the surgeries they're doing um, that I don't think should be done anymore. I think we have much more advanced therapies today that are much more conservative. It's very rare that anybody gets hurt from getting injections, but it's really common that people get hurt from surgeries. It happened to me on my shoulder when I was a med student. All of you listeners out there know my story. Fourth year med school, I was doing orthopedic surgery and I injured my shoulder weightlifting. And um, instead of just letting it heal, I um, had my boss, um, what is his last name? I remember his first name was Gerald. I can't remember his last name. My God, it's so many years ago. Great guy. I used to go into surgery with him all the time. So he operated on my shoulder right away, and it just came out bad. It was swollen. My whole arm was full of fluid. I had a high fever. I was terrified. And I had four years of misery after that until I learned about prolotherapy back in the day. I injected my own shoulder. The next morning, I woke up completely pain-free with full range of motion. So I'm going to give out the phone number. We love to get your calls in here today, and we love our callers. So if you want to talk to me live right now and ask questions about your body, whatever hurts, 
or your friends or family um, need a, your, your paper shuffler today. The phone number yes. to the studio is 866-870-5752. I'm going to repeat it slowly for you. Grab your pen, write it down. If you're driving and you're hearing this, pull over the side of the road. Take off your Bluetooth so we can hear you. Give me a call right now. The phone number is 866-870-5752. And for anyone who calls in, I will mail them postage-free a copy of my book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. It's got the foreword by the lovely Suzanne Summers. God bless her. She's in the heavens now. And, so uh, sad. We're, yeah, we're very sorry to see Suzanne go. She was one of the greatest proponents of natural medicine that has ever been on this planet. And she has helped so many people. And she saved so many people from horrific outcomes with, um, you know, I'm going to call the modern type of medicines instead of the traditional types that help people naturally. And um, this book has, I think, about 250 studies on prolotherapy, um, on stem cell therapy, on PRP, platelet-rich plasma, and these studies show why surgery is not the answer anymore. Yes, we do need surgery for terrible things that happen. If you break a bone and the bone's sticking out through the skin, you better get to a surgeon. But if you've got a meniscal tear in your knee or a rotator cuff tear in your shoulder, neck pain, back pain, surgery is the very last option in most cases. And I get uh, terrible cases that come in um, every day, new patients that have had failed surgeries where they, they got worse because of the surgery. I've had people come in that have had three surgeries, and they come in saying, should they get a fourth? And my answer is uh, pretty, pretty responsive of please don't do the surgery. Let's try to help you naturally. Uh, simple injections. You walk in, you get injected, you walk out. So I'm going to give out the phone number again. Call me now. We can answer your questions. 866-870-5752. And you can, also get, you can also call the office. You get a free consult with my staff at 800-300-9300. That's my office number, 800-300-9300. And if you want to watch these uh, procedures, you can see videos of them on my website. Write this down, www.joint rehab.com. That's J-O-I-N-T-R-E-H-A-B.com. Every page on that website has a spot to email me. And I get to every email every day and I respond quickly. And if there's things we missed on the show that we didn't talk about and you want to email it, or if you're too shy to call in, go to jointrehab.com. That's the website. And you'll see tons and tons of articles and information about how PRP and stem cells work and how surgery can fail you. And look, I'm not saying every surgery is a failure, but there's way too many that are. And why go through something that's invasive and dangerous when you don't have to anymore? Um, this is, to me, the way to heal. So that's up to you how you want to do it. And there's some people that just love getting surgeries. I don't, I try to talk them out of it, but, you know, I can't talk everybody out of everything. And it's the old story of um, <clears throat> Galileo. Nita, do you remember Gal Galileo in 1663? Yes, I was there. <laughs> you probably were. You reincarnated back again because you didn't get it all. Um, so he was an astronomer. And he said the earth is round when everyone else said the earth is flat. Do you know what they threatened to do to him? Cut his head off. Well, that would have been the last part of it. But yeah, Inquisition. He wasn't allowed to say that. It upset the, um, the culture of what science was at that time. And they didn't want to be upset. So yeah, they threatened to torture and kill him. And he had to recant I guess it was for a while. I don't know what, what happened later, but um, it's the same thing with medicine. You know, medicine is diehard dinosaurs to me. 
Uh, it's very hard, very difficult to get people to change, to get doctors to change. And um, I've been on the forefront of, um, of regenerative medicine uh, for over 25 years. People say I'm the granddaddy of it. I'm not really because there were guys doing it back in 1900. It's just that I may, ha I may be the guy who's done the most um, in present time and gotten the word out. Um, I get people who, who email me from all over the world every day and I answer all those emails. You can email me too. Go to the website, www.jointrehab.com. And Nita and I are looking for your calls right now. And we have Teresa. At, okay, let me give out the phone number once more at 866-870-5752. Teresa, Dr. Mark Darrow, God bless you for calling us up and getting the show rolling. We love our callers. And I understand Hi. that... Uh, you have hip joint pain, is that correct? Teresa, are you there? Teresa? <laughs> Teresa, don't be shy. Are you, with us? are you with us? Well, Teresa, you can call us back if somehow you got disconnected or you can uh, get back into this later. Um, the phone number to reconnect with us is 866 870 Five seven five two. You can talk to me live. I see another caller coming in. Um, Ter oh, that's Teresa. Her call okay. was lost. So, Teresa, can you hear me now? Uh, sorry, so sorry. Yes, I can. No hear problem. You. Yeah, and don't feel bad if you have to yell at us so we can hear you. We love okay. hearing you. <laughs> uh, yeah. No problem. So I, I I understand. You know, you, you told the call screener that you have hip joint pain, and who yes. told you you have who told you you have hip joint pain? Well, I, I've been going to the doctor for this pain that's kind of intermittent. So I've had a couple of MRIs and, you know, the doctors, they're, they're not into the preventative stuff. So what I was told is it's more degenerative and overuse, okay. Okay. Um, which I don't, I mean, I, I try to walk at least three times a week, so I don't really think it's overuse. It's just. I don't know what, but I'm interested in knowing about stem cells to for more preventative and to keep me mobile okay. longer, preventing any surgeries. Okay, so I'm I'm glad that you're looking the same way I look, uh, where you have parallel views here of avoiding surgery and healing naturally. Now, the most important thing I have to tell you is this: just because someone told you you have some degeneration in your hip because they looked at an MRI does not mean that your pain is coming from that joint. Mm -hmm. Is what I'm saying registering? I know people go, what? Yes. No, because I've done a lot of research. There's so many nerves that run through the back, out towards down the hip and the leg and so forth. Because my pain actually sometimes also, and I don't know if it's related, wakes me up at night because I'm a side sleeper and my hip hurts and then... It extends down my anterior medial thigh. Okay. Well, first of all, on the radio, I can't examine you. And the most important thing is to do an examination. I don't really give a hoot what your MRI says. Okay. I know that, I know that goes against the, the community of medicine, the culture of medicine. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, we're trained. I, I went to UCLA for my residency. We're trained. Get that MRI. Get that X-ray. Right. Right. And um, what I found is they weren't accurate for finding where the pain generator was. So I'm like my grandfather who was born in the 1800s, who was a doctor. He didn't have MRIs. What did he do? He touched the body to find out what was going on. I do the same thing. It's not like I'm psychic or anything. Maybe I am. I know I'm very intuitive. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> touching the body and moving it around will tell me in most cases where pain is coming from. All right. Okay. So right. be careful. Be careful and I'm, not to I'm jump. On my, I want to tell you, I'm on my third mattress. Also, okay. I mean, because it, it seems, I mean, I, from going from sitting to standing, it bothers me. So I have a standing desk at work, which works out great for me. That's great. But then That's when wonderful. it comes to nighttime, Sleeping and turning, that's where 
there's some issues also. So I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. I wish I could. Let me ask you a personal. Let me ask you a personal question. Uh Well, let's let's talk. Let me talk a little bit here, because I got a lot of information to give you. I've kind of heard your story, and thank you very much. I'm grateful for that. Um, I'm going to ask you a couple pointed questions. Are you overweight? Yes. Okay. So, when you said it's that part of your thigh, anterior lateral thigh, I think is what you said. There is a nerve that comes down from your abdomen right across the groin, which is called the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. All right? Write it down because you're good at looking stuff up. Lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. Because it's more medial, actually. Medial. <clears throat> I, don't want you to look, I want you to look it up, though. I'm not going to okay, tell you what's going on over the radio. I'm just giving you ideas. Okay. Look that up. And um, see if you think that applies to you. Okay. If, if it does, it's a non-surgical thing right off the bat. Oh, okay. Number two, I've got to do range of motion of your hips and see you walk and see if it's the joint at all that's involved. And it probably is not. Many, 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 many people have arthritis and have no pain. Okay? Right. And I see people ready for hip surgeries all the time. And I examine them and I go, your pain's not coming from your hip joint. So why are you going to amputate it? Right. And they go, well, I've seen three or four surgeons. They all say the same thing. They looked at the MRI or the x-ray and they said, I need a joint replacement. I go, well, you don't. It has nothing to do with your joint. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff in that neighborhood that can be a pain generator. It can be one of the attachments to the greater trochanter, okay? Okay. That's on the side of the femur, which is the ball that kind of sticks out. Um, Thin people can feel it on themselves. If you have a lot Mm -hmm. of cushion on it, you can't feel it. And there's 14 Mm -hmm. muscle attachments to that. Wow. All right? It could be any one of those. Okay. Okay. So Good there's to just know. tons of different things that are possible. Don't get snookered by traditional doctors who just look at an x-ray or an MRI to tell you what's going on. Okay. I'm not Perfect. saying not to get those. People right. come in who's, who've heard me on the radio and they go, um, I didn't get an MRI because you think they're bad. I don't think they're bad. I think they're great. But that's not how you diagnose. And I'll tell you what's happened a few times is I have gotten an X-ray MRI and found cancer. Right. All right? Mm -hmm. So I do like to get them. Cancer can cause pain too, right? Right. Okay. So I like to get those images. Once in a while you find a fluky thing like that. So you want to check everything out. I like to do the traditional uh, format of medicine. That's how I was trained at UCLA. But then I like to go a lot of steps further. I want to find out where that pain is being generated from. And then All right. I'm just remembering, but I kind of blocked it out. They told me it could be early spondylitis. Nah, um, I don't think so. I don't think so either. <laughs> no. So, all right. Well, By the way, spondylitis I, just I, means mm-hmm. spondylitis just means arthritis in the back. I don't think oh, that's okay. what's going on here. But um, again, I don't know until I examine you. So I'm going to give you the phone number to the office. It's 800-300-9300. Come in for a consult. Let's check it out. I can probably tell you in two minutes what's going on. Okay. Sounds good to me. You know, we're going to look for the pain generator. Okay. All right. Thank and if you. you have more questions, just call the office at 800-300-9300. The staff will give you a free consult right over the phone also and give you more information. And then you can go to the website, www.jointrehab.com, and watch videos of me doing hips. I and got that already. I'm, I'm going to check that out. All right. Yes. And we're going to send you a free copy of my book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. I'll pay the postage. And then you can read more about what these procedures are like and how to save yourself from a surgery. 
I don't want you getting a surgery unless you need it. And from what right. you're telling me, you do not need a surgery. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate it. God bless you. It's nice talking to you, Teresa. Thank you, Thank you Teresa. Doctor. All right. So we're going to go to Antoinette about her knees. This is Dr. Mark Darrow. The show is Living Pain Free. And our host is Nita Valens. And uh, thank you all for listening. And thank you, um, Nita, for being a great host. Yeah. And welcome. Everybody else. Are you guys talking? <laughs> I just said you're anyway, welcome. Okay. I hear background oh, noise. Oh, no. There's just me okay. and you. Antoinette, Dr. Mark Darrow, your knees. What's going on? Yes, I've been having a problem with my knee for about five years. I've gone Which to an orthopedic it? specialist and I've been taking cortisone shots for five years, every three okay. months. Okay. And, and I ended up not being able to walk in July of last year in the hospital. Okay. okay. And, but I managed to get home without any surgery or any other, uh, other than the cortisone shots. I'm okay. wondering what to do and uh, how I should proceed. Should I take stem cells now or should I, uh, what should I do? It's well, I'm not, glad you not, asked. It's not leaving. Okay, I'm glad you asked. Um, number one, I want everybody who's listening, including you, Antoinette, to get to a computer and put in the words cortisone and then the next word, cartilage. You'll never have another cortisone shot. Correct. That's what I don't want to have now. Because most likely, if you've been getting cortisone every three months, you have barely any, if any, cartilage left in your knee. Because it kills it. Okay. It dissolves it away. So what can I do next? Well, I have to examine you. I mean, there's no way I can tell you over the radio what's going on with you. I've got to examine you. Are you overweight by chance, Antoinette? No, 140. Beautiful. 140 pounds, about and, five, and I, seven. Perfect. I love that. Um, did you have information from a doctor saying you have arthritis in your knees? No, I've been having the cortisone shots, which temporarily helped me to walk, but I'm still not yeah. walking uh, the way I should. Okay. Well, I don't have an answer for you until I examine you. And if you want to get an appointment for a consult, just call the office at 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Ninety three hundred. First thing you do is we'll look with an ultrasound inside the knee, see if you've got fluid there, see what's going on. And um, I can tell you more definitively after I look at the ultrasound with you there and move your knees around and touch the areas and find out what's happening. Okay. With if stem it's cells. Then what? Well, we have to talk about it, but I mean, the treatments I do are stem cells and PRP. That's to help regrow cartilage if it's okay. in the knee. Okay. Do you think that uh, repair would be uh, an avenue to exchange? Well, to me, repair is a lot better than surgery where you're taking things out. Well, now, typically what happens, I don't know if this is your case, Antoinette, if yeah. you have what a doctor calls end-stage arthritis, that's to them. That's not to me. I don't believe in that. But traditional doctors use that term all the, all the time with my patients. They go, you've got bone on bone. You've got end-stage arthritis. Let's just keep injecting you with steroids. It'll kill the cartilage, but who cares? Because we're going to amputate the, the joint and put in a fake joint. Well, if that's the path you want, keep getting steroid shots. So that's it's not what the path I want. I want. To stop and to start with stem cell with that, if you do diagnose it, that it's possible, would it be better to get off the steroids and get into It's stem always cell? better to get off of steroids, no matter what you do. Okay. Hang with us, Antoinette. We're going to a short break, and then we'll let you ask some more questions. 
Phone number to call in is 866-870-5752. And you're listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow, and we'll be right back. You're listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. Dr. Darrow's practice is located at the Darrow Stem Cell Institute in West Los Angeles. To schedule an appointment, call 1-800-300-9300. That's 1-800-300-9300. Dr. Darrow will be back in just a moment. Stay tuned.